What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the Firewall Podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest cybersecurity news, as well as behind those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Tynes. What's up? What's up? What's going on? So welcome to uh, Wednesday's episode. So even if you have not already, please tune uh, into Monday, where we talk about uh, some of the, the fallout and uh, remnants of the MGM uh, data breach. Uh, on Tuesday, we discussed uh, how Cisco acquired uh, Splunk. So it's like a $28 billion acquisition that's currently going through the works uh, because they want that that AI goodness, right? So you're going to see a lot more of these acquisitions and purchases uh, in the near future. Uh, and then uh, Thursday will probably be a throwback. I'm not exactly sure which episode I'm going to uh, showcase. I, I like that metrics, right? Like, is it going to be the most viewed? Is it going to be the most recent? Or not the most recent, but uh my my favorite like i'll figure out what the parameters are and then i'll, I'll post that one uh, as well uh if you would like to be on ask us sp uh please go ahead and reach out to me i'll shoot you a link we'll get you booked uh please tune into last week's where i talked to uh delisha hodo she is the assistant director of advising over at sans institute academy so if you're looking to join the uh cyber team of some sort right you want to uh crossover, you want to transition, you are a veteran, a person of color, uh, uh, HBCU uh, attendee or alum, alumnus, there you go. Um, there's multiple tracks for you to get into cybersecurity through SAN. So check it out. Uh, not available advertisement. They did not pay me. So without further ado, I'll give it to Shannon. <laughs> All right, everybody. This one comes from the hackernews.com. And the title of this one is China accuses U.S. of decade-long cyber espionage campaign against Wuwei servers, right? I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. H-U-A-W-E-I. Wuwei. Wow, wow. Or Huawei. I say Huawei. 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 Yeah. Huawei servers. So, um, so this kind of, this actually comes out on the heels of the one we reported before, right? Where we were talking about how China had hacked uh, some government officials, right? And they didn't necessarily deny it. They were just like, hey. It ain't like you ain't been doing dirt, you know what I mean? That's kind of that's kind of the response to it. <laughs> right. So, you know what I mean? But like, it's one of those things where this is, I, I don't doubt this, right? Like, I, I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, that can't be true. We wouldn't do anything like that, right? Like, everybody's doing it to everybody, right? And it's just a matter of, like, even with our allies, like, I know there is some some spying going on, but it's just a matter of where it may not be as um, ev evasive as as this was, right? So, the China's China's Ministry of State Security um, accused the U.S. of breaking into, say it again, Huawei, Huawei's servers. Said, yeah, Huawei. Yep. Huawei servers, stealing critical data and implanting backdoors since 2009 um, amid mounting geopolitical tensions between the two countries, right? So um, on their WeChat, um, it's something they use over in, in – um, in China, um, they said U.S. intelligence agencies have, have done everything possible to conduct surveillance, secret theft, and intrusions on many countries around the world, including China, using powerful cyber attack arsenal, right? Um, they didn't say what specifically we did, you know what I mean? They just say, hey, since 2009, and they specifically called out the NSA, right? So the NSA's Computer Network Operations, which was formerly called the, the Office of Tailored Access Operations, or TAO, T-A-O. And they said those guys are repeatedly in there doing stuff they don't need to be do be doing right. So, um, but they first they first made this allegation back in September of 2022, right? So it's one of those things where they were like, "You guys have been doing this for a long time." Uh, again, I, I can't sit here and say I doubt it, right? Because everybody's doing it to everybody. Like I know they are. Like there's no way there's no way we are gathering the intelligence we are or, or reporting the things that we do without going in there doing you know some type of spying. You know what I mean? It's just the way it is, right? So again, this does come on the heels of you know us reaching out to China and say knock it off, right? Like you're 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 going after you know um, our government, which seems a little bit different, right? So not to say that it's right, but this company this, this is a a company that's operating on profit, right? It's not you're not going after you know a country's uh, government, right? Which is which is charged with doing several things to protect its people, right? You know what I mean? Like defense and things of that nature provide. Um, services, you know what I mean? I'm not doing anything like that, but um, it's just one of those things where, yeah, again, I can't doubt it, right? Um, they, 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 <laughs> they, they go into some details on some things, right? On, on, on 
what they've been doing. So they they list all these other countries, right? They say you've been doing this for more than 10 years against China, Russia, and then they name like 45 other countries and regions around the world. But this is kind of how I don't want to say I don't want to call it a game, but this is how the game is played, right? Like 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 DMX says, it's not a game, you know what I mean? But <laughs> right. But but it is a game, right? It's just what we do. Um like we we're we're coming off like the US is coming off like hey we're victims in all of this like look 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 at what they did to us you know what i mean like it's not it's not necessarily propaganda but it, it's kind of it could be it could be construed that way right like we're going to sit here and say oh like we're going to clutch our pearls when you come after our officials when we've been doing it as well you know what i mean i think that's i think that's what china is trying to get out there is like you're not as innocent as you're making yourself out to be right so um but it is what it is. Again, on the heels of the the micro, I think it was Microsoft. It's Microsoft hacked, right? Yeah, the, it was the the big yeah. yellow taxi. That yeah, yeah, about. the yellow taxi caught it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, taxi cab, whatever it was called. Yeah, mm-hmm. when they caught it. But um, yeah, they're 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 out there putting putting business out in the streets, right? They're like, you're not going to sit here and just have everybody going against us. We're going to show that you're doing this too, right? And it's only a matter of time before it's going to be other superpowers, right? Other countries as well, right? You're going to have, you know countries in europe are going to be doing it right then france is going to come out france has been doing it england's been doing it. the uk's been doing it uh it, it's going to come out right but um right now because we're going so hard after china you know and russia we're the ones that got to take it this time so um it, again this is <laughs> this is how the game is played right like we're we're not intelligence gathering is not them doing something uh, that they put out there and we just happen to catch it, right? There are times where we have to be evasive and we have to go in there and get this information and we figure it out. And this is what comes of it, right? You get stories like this. So what's your thoughts on this, Ryan? Uh, yeah, I mean, duh. Like, so that's what they should have said. That should have been a response back. Like, uh, So I'm surprised that they only go back as or, uh, uh, as recently, recently as 2009, right? So if anything, like... Uh, when when this was brought up to whomever, right, the powers that be, we we're like, that's it. That's all, <laughs> that's all you're tracking. Like you, you know, we made the internet. We've been tracking you and listening to all your data and all that good stuff since the inception of DARPANET. So, <laughs> but okay, 2009, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take we'll take that uh that that jab. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we we talked about it. Uh, I think it's been almost two years since all of those tools from the NSA were. Um, we're pilfered, right? Like, so we we are uh, masterful in this game, right? Like, we we make the tools that you're currently using to to uh, break into our systems. If that's the case, right? Like, we may have given you those tools. Like, who's who's to say like all this, you know, spy versus spy uh, type type stuff? Uh, we we are <clears throat> masters at at the craft. So uh, it, it is a big duh. But uh, yeah, I think I think you're right. I think it's a, a pro China campaign. Uh, to try to say, well, you know, like the U.S. is pointing fingers at us, so we're going to point fingers back and, and what have you. But every nation state is spying on every other nation state. It's just the way it is, right? Just how pervasive is it depending upon your relationships um, between the two. So I I take no uh, no offense to it. If anything, it's a pat on the back. Like, yes. <laughs> yes, we do do it. And we're doing it better than you are. Um but uh, we talked about, uh, I don't know if we talked about it on the show or we just talked about it um, in, in our chat, but uh, to the point where uh, Chinese officials are now being told that they can't use uh, iPhones and things of that nature, right? Like they're cycling them off of all non-Chinese brands. Uh, one, probably because they can spy on their own people, um, but two, uh, so we are, have less of a chance of getting in there. But this this was uh, hacking through Huawei, right? Which is, uh, I think like, I think Huawei uh, is, a little bit closer to uh, China's government than like a, a, a TLC, TCL or something like that, right? Um, we have Huawei on lists. Um, <clears throat> I, I can't remember what the, the name of the list is, but basically it's the, uh, the I, I believe it's the Department of Treasury uh, where we have sanctions, right? You can't have Huawei devices or anything that comes from the Huawei supply chain. So uh, you you'll, Huawei is called 10 or 20 different things, right? They have subsidiaries. They try to, because they, they need to make money. They make profit not only for themselves as, a, as an institution, but also for the Chinese government. And then their components are used worldwide. So we, we have a, a an active um, list of yeah. different <laughs> yeah, companies that we do not 
want those those devices either to be in the states or we don't want them to be within the Department of Defense within the supply chain. Um, so with that being said, duh, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I can see them on the opposite end line. We don't want Apple products or whatever, you know, like they, they make them, but they're still American brands uh, within their supply chain because we can use those to, to pivot into their networks. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm not trying to um, actually defend uh, our our hacking or whatever. I'm, I'm rooting for the home team. Like, yeah, and we're, we're in those systems. <laughs> we're proud of it. So it's kind of it's kind of like so we did actually do the story on this. We actually did this on the podcast. Um, this was one that we actually uh, went into because my thinking on it was that they're going to start hacking at Apple. You know what I mean? So they told their government officials to get off of it, right? But it's kind of crazy because they're making them over there in China anyway, right? So it just has to go two miles from the factory to the, you know, right, right. It'd be like going to an Amazon fulfillment store. Like, yeah, yeah, it's right there. So no like, tariffs, no taxes, yeah. right? Like. You're making it down the street, um, but I, I can see like it's not it's it's probably Apple won't play ball with them uh, to most likely say we want back doors, we want access, we want more whatever because they're an American company. Like no, you're not, you're not getting that. So like, okay, we're going to transition off of you to Huawei's brand of cell phone, or I'm, I'm sure it's, I can't think of any Chinese brands off the top of my head um, to uh, deny American access, but then also acquire our own access, right? Um, to inspire on our own people because their their surveillance is uh their internal surveillance like I, I talk I'm patting myself on the back about America's ability to uh reach out to other other nation states and pull that in and you know we're again masters of the craft when it comes to hacking but their internal surveillance far none the best in the world <laughs> right so uh, in their case like we have we want even more access to our own people to to make sure that they're they're uh in tow right they're they're following the regime and, and and what have you so uh and the i i was debating between this article and, a, and another one but i was like yeah i mean give, give us our give us our flowers like, give, give us our kudos when it comes to our, our ability to um uh perform reconnaissance <laughs> on on uh our our near peers so to speak so it is what it is, is all I have to say. So um, well, with that said, please tune in. Uh, again, we're, we're, we're doing really well this month. So I think we still have, what, like six or seven days left in the month and we're almost 2,000. So that'd be cool if we did hit 2,000. My, uh, what, what I'll keep saying is that, like, if you keep this level of effort up, all right? Don't tease us and bring us this high up and then like all these green arrows on my metrics and then turn around and we go back down to regular, which was great. But I don't. I don't want to see those red arrows. I want to see the 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 downward trend, right? We we we're over here in the in the two thousands. I want to stay there. So definitely like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you have not already, please go to our YouTube page and subscribe there as well. Uh, I'm not asking you to 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 listen to us and then watch those videos, uh, but you can play them in the background. <laughs> Get our streams up. That would be great. So uh, greatly appreciate it. Please go to the websites to go by our name. Hit me up personally at Ryry Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. I'm on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, and Threads. Stay safe. Stay secure.